Hey YouTubers, this is King Lake 6 aka Raymond. Welcome to another edition of my Juggernauts. As you can tell, I reacted to his uh, Q&A, which was a long ass video, I can tell you guys that. But, I've never seen anybody so crazy in my life. Well, I, I thought I've seen crazy, but my Juggernauts takes the cake on this one. Now, he has a lot of questions about how his life was. He asked all you guys last night to post questions for his Q&A. And now I just found out that his final Q&A will be next week. Hmm. Final Q&A. Well, you know what's funny, guys? Uh, someone actually uh, commented on me saying that there's a rumor that he's actually going to be leaving YouTube. And he said he's going to L.A. or something. Or Louisiana. Either one. L.A. or something. It could be that. It could be Louisiana. I'm not sure. But you know what, guys? At the rate he's going right now, he's in a room. A small room. That's where he kept his fan mail. And he's locked in there. So he can do videos because his dad doesn't want him to see it. So... Forget all that. Let's let's talk about the Q&A. One of the questions was asked, uh, how did you feel when Tom was yelling at you? What went through your mind? And it's funny how he says, I don't know why Tom did that to me. He was my cousin. He has no idea how my, how my what kind of life I was living. So he had no right to yell at me like that. So it's like, uh, yeah, he can. That's his dad. And... His dad just ran his car into a pole for you so you can get out. But no, you decided to stay because <laughs> you have your stuff here and everything. Now, I was thinking a lot about uh, about this. It's like, why would he put his stuff in storage and why would he take his car somewhere? But you know what? I'll get back to that later. Now, one of the questions is, do you think your dad is dictating your YouTube, or running your YouTube? And I like how it just says, what? What? What kind of a person does that? What kind of a... What kind of person asks me a question like that? And it's funny, like, I say, why are, you why are you worried about that question? Because you're the one who decided to write it, or put it on the, on the Q&A. So, it was like... Why are you so mad about it? I guess when he picked the questions, he did not expect that that question would pop up right there. So, what can I say? So, um, it would be it's, a lot of people have been asking. Do you think that how would you, what are you gonna do when you get your money out of that safe? And he says, Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get an apartment. I'm gonna get my stuff back. I'm gonna get my fucking car back. Everything. But let's let's be honest, guys. He did not ask his father on how to, on how he was in the videos, and he's making money off him and his family mostly, and he and he's entitled to all that money. Like I said before, I think he should share all that money with his family members and not just himself. But all I could I could tell you guys is that um, I said that said so Corn uh, holds the camera a lot. Why doesn't he? Okay, that's sharing the money. And what do you guys wrote? Because he's holding the camera, he's getting shout outs. Well, shout outs are fine, but holding the camera that long makes you wonder like, why am I holding the camera? This is his channel, I should get something. Because I'm taking the time out of my life to film his stuff and not getting paid for it. But hey, if he's a good if he's a good friend, sorry, I had eggs for breakfast, stuck in my tooth. He, um, if he's a good friend, that's a good friend. But uh, at the same time, I basically like, why am I not getting paid here? I'm wasting my time here. I should be out there like getting, uh, working or doing my thing, not helping this guy. But I'm I'm his friend. What can I say? So. Next question, the one that really got to him was, do you regret putting all this stuff on YouTube? And he said he does, he does regret it. He really does. He's saying that 
I hate I I always hate myself doing this, but I, I lay it down at night, saying to myself, "Why the hell did I do this? Why the hell am I putting my life and showing the world how bad it is for me?" <laughs> and do you guys? And like I said, to you guys, the la that time when on the video when Psycho Dad watches McJugger Nuggets. When Corn was when he was yelling at Corn because he left be, he left because he threw him under the bus, he stated that you don't know how hard it is to upload something. Uh, my family, uh, my family, doing shit to me. You have no idea what it's like. And I think he does know what it's like because hell, he's been your friend for how long, and he doesn't see that, right? So, despite all that, guys. He said that he cries himself to sleep. He cannot sleep. He, well, basically, you can't, you can't sleep right there. But he doesn't know the fact that what he's doing is wrong. And he regrets it. He said he does regret it. He says it's, it's like, he actually gave an example like, it's like when you yell at someone, your loved one or your a family member, and you say something wrong and they send you to your room because... You did something wrong. He said that you said that you because you're a piece of shit and everything. It's like no, when you're a kid and you say something wrong to your parents, they send you to your room because it's hurtful for what they've said. Now, I believe but between you and me, guys, I've said a lot of mean things to my mom and my dad too, a lot of times. My mom and dad always send me to my room. Sometimes they don't talk to me and everything. There was one time that I pissed my mom off so much, she didn't want to see me. At that time, it was my senior ball. I was getting ready. My mom was doing my haircut, was was giving me a haircut and everything. And I was angry at her saying, how long is this going to take? Because I like to go like watch TV with my brothers or do something. And I yelled at her because of the pictures, of what type of pictures I should get. I said, mom, I'm not worried about it. Just give me this and that's it. And I pissed my mom off so much. She went into a room. So, it was time for me to go. I was all dressed up, tux, clean shaved, everything. Yeah, I could tell by the clean shave, you know what I'm saying? I went to my mom's room. She, went to, she was in the bathroom, she didn't want to see me. She, I said, Mom, I'm getting ready to go, would you want to see me? And she didn't want to come out. So, I left. I went to my senior ball. All through the lim all through the limo ride, I was this is supposed to be the greatest time of my life, because this is a senior ball and I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't dance much, but this is my last time as a senior in this high school, and I was looking forward to it, but. What I said, what I said, the mayor angry was so heartbreaking. I had a good time, guys. Believe it or not, I did. When um, I was talking to her, saying that I am sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for all the things I've said. My mom just looked at me and said, "Don't worry about it, son. I'm sorry too. It's just, I just wanted everything to be perfect for you." <laughs> mm. That's my mom right there. She always wants me, wants everything to be perfect for me and everything. And what just said was actually uh, uh, true in some points. When you say things you regret and they send it to your room because they hurt, they because they think that you were in the wrong. They did that. Be they do that because you hurt their feelings, and I, they just can't believe that they it's coming out of their own children's mouths. That's why they do that, guys. So, I told my mom, I'm, I'm sorry. She said she's sorry. She said she was sorry back to me. She said, now, I lost the moment that my son was going to his senior ball in his tux. Hmm. But between you and me, guys, 
my mom's seen me in tux before because I was in the, I was, as you guys know, I was in the marching band in my recent videos. Uh, she, um, I had to wear tux. As a junior and a senior, you had to wear tux. And I did. I hear combs of what hair I have left. <laughs> and, yeah, I had a good time. She saw what I looked like in tux, but she said just the moment that I was leaving for my senior ball, it, that memory's gone. But for her, no, for her, knowing the fact that she was going to see me in my tux, she's not going to see it anymore. But all that, that's in my head. I'm an open book, guys. I have a long-term memory. I remember everything in my life. <laughs> but hey, what can I say, guys? Well, hey, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions, more gameplay. And also, happy Memorial Day, everybody. If you guys have family members who are veterans, be sure to write to them and say thank you for, for serving us or fighting for our freedom and everything because that really helps a lot. The reason why I say that because my grandpa, who passed away in 07, he used to fight in World War II. And every year, whether it's Veterans Day, Memorial Day, which is today, I always say thanks, Grandpa, for your services. Thank you for fighting for our freedom and thank you for serving your country. My grandpa says you're very welcome. That's why I do it. That's why I did it. Because I wanted to serve my country. But. Uh, soldiers. This is for all the soldiers out there. Thank you for your. Thank you for fighting for our freedom. Thank you for serving our country. You guys are the real heroes here. Alright. Thank you for watching. And don't forget. Stay positive. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, back to the. Uh what I was about to say. For him to end powwow, for him to end uh, hashtag triple M, and now he's saying that this will be the final q and I have a feeling that what the, what, these, what the guy that commented on me was true. Is he really leaving YouTube? I don't know. But for him to cancel on all these things, I mean, give up all these uh, things, hashtag triple M, the powwow, and now a final Q&A, I'm starting to actually believe it. If he, if he is leaving, if he is, I don't know. We'll see. As uh, my mom always says, only time will tell. And sorry, my goats are over here now. My mom always says, only time will tell. Let's just see where it takes us. So from then on, I, can, I always take that to heart. I always said, I don't know what's going to happen. Only time will tell. I'm going to see where it takes me. Okay? Well, guys, like I said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions, more gameplay. Poll question. Do you guys, after what I said, after canceling hashtag triple M, the powwow, and now we're getting ready to lose, having a final Q&A, do you think that he's actually going to be done with YouTube? Give me an answer on that, okay? Thank you for watching. And once again, stay positive, And happy Memorial Day, everybody.